Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monday, the 6th of March, 2022, of the second week of Lent. No man can safely be a superior but he who loves to live in subjection. No man can safely command, but he who has learned how to obey well. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, your love brings freedom, pardon, and joy. Transform my heart with your love that nothing may make me lose my temper, ruffle my peace, take away my joy, or make me bitter towards anyone. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Though we have sinned, been wicked, and done evil, our Father astoundingly is merciful. He desires to pour into our lap gifts in good measure. But in our rebellion, we often fail to recognize his mercy or show it to others. True union with God always entails our assimilation to him, by which we are able to adopt the compassion and forgiveness that are his. For the true meaning of loving God is to love God without measure. This comes from St. Bernard of Clavel. The Epistle We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. A reading from the book of the prophet, Daniel chapter 9, verse 4. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced, like our kings, our princes, and our fathers, for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, our compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your commandment, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 79 Responsorial Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O Lord, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Gospel Acclamation Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Amen. 
the Gospel. Forgive and you will be forgiven. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 6 verse 36. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Luke chapter 6 verse 36 Jesus knows well the depths of the human heart. He understands how hard it is for us to show mercy at times, despite our best efforts. Yet, he also doesn't ask us to do the impossible. So what would help us to follow Jesus' command to be merciful as his Father is merciful? Luke chapter 6 verse 36 Just as a picture paints a thousand words, so concrete examples show us what mercy looks like in action. And we have such examples from Jesus himself in the Gospels. In fact, as St. John Paul II once said, Jesus himself is mercy. For instance, look at how he treated the man with leprosy, with mercy by healing him. Matthew chapter 8 verse 1. How did he treat the woman caught in adultery? With mercy by forgiving her and by not allowing others to condemn her. John chapter 8 verse 3. How did he treat Zacchaeus, the tax collector, who had cheated his fellow Jews out of their hard-earned money? With mercy, by inviting himself to Zacchaeus' house for dinner. Luke chapter 19 verse 1. How did he treat the man possessed by a devil who fell down before him and begged him to leave? By freeing him and then sending him on his way. Luke chapter 8 verse 26 Again and again Jesus demonstrated what mercy looks like, acts like, and sounds like. He showed us that mercy encompasses not only forgiveness but also compassion, care, and respect for the dignity of another person. This Lent, take some time to consider how you treat the people you encounter each day, especially those who are closest to you. Is there one person whom you find especially challenging to love and relate to? What can you do to show them the mercy of God? How can you love them as Jesus loves them? God sent Jesus to earth so that we could see mercy in the flesh. May we always keep this picture of mercy close to our hearts so that we can become witnesses to the abundant, overflowing, and never-ending mercy of our Heavenly Father. Jesus, you are mercy itself. Help me imitate both you and my Heavenly Father by bringing your mercy into my most challenging relationships. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the Gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home, or 
if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.